we have a busy week in Canadian football. We have CONCACAF Champions Cup. We have W Gold Cup. And of course, there is news from elsewhere across the football world. And perhaps a bit of news, Gareth Wheeler, that we may not have been expecting to see. We all know our pal James Sharman hosts a lot of podcasts, makes a mean pie and a mean butter tart. But he also moonlight, moonlights as a columnist for the Toronto Star. And he had an interesting little line towards the end of his most recent piece that was suggesting that Thierry Henry could be interested, could be considered for the vacant Canadian men's national team coaching position. Lots of meat on that bone if that is the case, Gareth. So let's let's start with, do you believe that this is a legitimate claim? Do you have anything to corroborate Charm's reporting? Well, first off, who am I to question the one, the only James Sharman? I, I was a little bit surprised in the manner in which it was presented. I was reading a piece forwarded by our good friend Oliver Platt entitled, Could the European Model of Promotion Relegation Work in Canadian Soccer? <laughs> and, and Literally sudden, bearing the lead. <laughs> oh, by the way, Thierry Henry may be interested in, in the Canadian men's national team head coaching job. Uh, this, it's To be honest with you, it's the first time I've heard that name. Other names that are being put out there and speculated upon in the press, um, I can validate some of those. This is the name that, um, that caught me by surprise, but maybe it shouldn't catch us by surprise. He's coached in Canada before. He, he clearly has a base, a nucleus here in North America. He's one, a world-renowned player, uh, an all-time legend, and a player who continues to manage right now with the France under-21 side that's about to play in the Olympics this summer as well. The familiar questions will pop up though, however, could Canada soccer be able to afford someone like Thierry Henry, which will come with certain specific expectations and a certain price tag as well. Um, that right now, until, and I've ranted about this on Friday show, until the hiring or the processes or the leadership and how the function, uh, how Canada soccer, the Canadian Soccer Association functions right now, until that's taken care of, it's very difficult to land on any candidate whatsoever. I do believe it's in the bylaw that the general secretary is the one that goes about making that hire. And ta-da, Canada soccer doesn't have a general, general secretary. And if someone that's on the board who's kind of operating that manner, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So uh, we'll see. Uh, but Thierry Henry is certainly a name that would pique the interest for obvious reasons and a name that, based upon Sharman's reporting, you simply wouldn't rule out at this point. Now, Ollie, if Thierry Henry was interested and was offered the job, the question becomes, do you think it's the right fit for the vacancy? Well, I think there's Oliver Platt, the, uh, the one soccer analyst who thinks it's a great fit because he gets to talk to Thierry Henry about soccer for the next few years. Like that, that side of me is like, yeah, sign me up. Um, and then there's, you know, assessing it more objectively, like, I, I'll be honest, this is the exact opposite of what I would like to see them do. And, and I understand the appeal of someone like Thierry Henry, who has such a big profile, so much experience at the top levels of the game. It's, it's nothing against him uh, as, as a player, as a coach. We know, we know, you know, what a great he's been in the game. I just don't think it's what this program needs at this moment in time. I know there are a lot of people who say, well, you just get the highest profile guy, you get the most eyeballs on the team, and and, and that's what matters right now. To me, you, you don't build like a legacy from a 2026 World Cup just by turning up and by everyone watching for that spell of a few weeks uh, while they're at the tournament. I, I think building a legacy of this tournament takes real work. It takes real vision. And I'm just not sure that a coach from a different part of the world who, okay, has been in Canada before, with CF Montreal, but doesn't really have that, I wouldn't think, in-depth knowledge of Canadian soccer, uh, of all of the different difficulties and complications that we deal with in, in Canada, as well as the opportunities that exist there. For me, that's not the type of person to really build on this massive opportunity that we have in, in 2026. Now, if you wanted to go about it a different way and appoint a sporting director to handle all of that stuff at kind of a higher level of the federation and the coach can just focus on coaching the team, then I'm much more interested. Then it's a different story. I just don't think that's going to happen. And so I, I personally would prefer to see a coach in charge who's more familiar with the Canadian game, who has more of an idea of how they want to build the men's national team program, not just for 2026, but beyond, and really capitalize on, on the opportunity that a home World Cup affords us. That's where I'm at. But obviously, you know, uh, I can understand the appeal of, of, of a big name like Thierry Henry to a certain extent as well. Jordan Wilson, the biggest Arsenal supporter I know, arguably the most handsome Arsenal supporter I know. I that. feel like I know I'll your answer, but I'm going to ask you anyways. 
I see where Oliver Platt, good friend, is, is going with this. Uh, I think this is an enormous task for one man to come into. Obviously, we know coaches, you have the coaching staff, but if Thierry Henry were to take the job, um, I, I totally agree with Ollie's sentiment in terms of if he was just a manager squad, you feel a bit hopeful, but there's just a lot, a lot going on with Canadian soccer. One thing I will say as a player, there's no one that walks into the room um, as a former player like Thierry Henry who has the trust of players. Davies, all the big dogs that we have, we can go through a line. I think there was a part of the last coach that we have with John Herdman. It's just like, okay, yeah, he's telling us what to do, but like, is there's a bit of doubt. Do you know what you're saying? No one's saying that to Thierry Henry. I'll, I'll say that much. He's a person, even when you listen to him speak on panels, you already you already clue into what he said just by the career that he has, just by the knowledge that he has as a as a player. I'll also say that he's motivated, he's hungry with Monaco, with CF Montreal. Those weren't um coaching stints where highlighted how good he could be. I think if he was to take over Canada, this would be a, a situation where he would have to go in and want to be successful to prove people that he could actually take a head coaching role and, and do well. Granted, we don't know how far into this this is. The Arsenal lover in me is uber excited, but I just also think that for the players that we have right now for Canada, they would want that challenge and someone that is leading them that has been there, that has literally won everything there is to have won. And so that would be a dream for, for Canadian players, I could imagine. So, Gareth, we know about your take on the interest. What's your take on the fit? Uh, I think that there could be a fit there. I think first and foremost, it's pretty clear that um, the players need someone that they respect in this room and someone to get them all back on the same page. Like Herbin alluded to it multiple times, just priorities have drifted, things have changed, personalities have emerged. And I think that you need someone that people will battle with or, 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 or go to go into line with here over the next couple of years, understanding the importance of, of, of a home world cup. Um, Thierry Henry's a World Cup winner. He's been an assistant coach. He was assistant coach with Belgium in the, in the last World Cup. He understands what big competitions is about. And that, that's where I'm separating things. Like, Canada soccer is a mess right now. But a glimmer of hope can be provided if the national team does well. Is Henri the right man to get everyone on the same page? I think you can make an argument, yes, he can. But still, just because you're a great player doesn't, or you were a great player doesn't mean that you were a great manager. And I think that the jury's still out about how good Thierry Henry is or can be as a manager as well. So it's a move that would come with risk. Is it worth paying that much money? And he would command a hefty paycheck um, in order to secure his services with those what ifs hanging about. Or do you want more of a mercenary to come in for the next two years? It's tried, tested, and true in international football, has had levels of success and knows how to prepare a team appropriately heading into a competition. Henri shouldn't be the only name considered, but based upon his name, his credentials, I wouldn't discredit him as well. So I'm kind of sitting on, on the fence here as well. Um, look, this job search, it just to me, will be incomplete until Canada Soccer hires a general secretary, gets that those, you know, they're, they're basically their shop in order here. Like Kelly Brown, with all due respect, cannot be the person that's making these decisions. Or, or for a matter of fact, Charmaine Crooks, in my opinion, should not be the person solely making these decisions. Where are the soccer minds? Where are the soccer people within Canada soccer that can step up and make a right hire? They've already gone through a corn ferry search, which was failed. Um, We've been told, and at the very bottom of that Charmin piece, he alluded to the fact that there was a big name interested in the general secretary job as well. I'm of that understanding as well. I hear a significant person with proper credentials has put their name forward for the general secretary position, but as I understand it, is not being considered because they were not part of the original Corn Ferry search. So I don't know how that decision making is going on. This is the I don't even know if it's chaos. It's just a lack of organization, lack of transparency, lack of communication on how things are going, and the clock is ticking. We're losing time every single day, and there's going to be other matters that the Canadian Soccer Association needs to deal with in the coming days and weeks and months ahead, and I just worry about what that decision-making process looks like. So although Henri you know, excites me on the, on, the, on the surface of it all, there's way too much going on for me to be like, yeah, go in and get him, and yeah, this is going to work. I just don't know at this point. What we did learn today, gentlemen, is that when the general secretary is ready to be hired, James Sharman will break it in paragraph 27 of an article in the Toronto Star. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks for the content, Sharms. Seriously, if you haven't tried his butter tarts and you live in Toronto, go get them. They're really good.